Hey guys, Asteria here, coming to you from Gellywix's Pleasure Palace out in Ashara. Um, today we're going to give you another Team Your UI tip, this time talking about the color of your UI. As a hunter, my color of my UI comes normally as this green color. Now, I'm not a huge fan of green, so I'm going to want to change this. So in order to change this, you go up to the little cogwheel up here, which is LUI Options. You click on the cogwheel, and then the second option down is Colors. Now, you can choose to change the colors yourself, um, where you click on each individual piece and part and change each color for each little option. So here's your micro menu up here, for example, you can change the color, let's say, to pink. Um, and click OK, or, you know, add a blue tinge to it and click OK. And then it changes up here to kind of a pink and blue, and you can play around with it however you like. Or you can click on Theme. Now when you click on Theme, you get a little drop-down menu, and here you can see that you can pick any of the preset themes from any of the classes that they already have made up. Or you can also pick a few preset themes that they have had, um, which are mixed, like Orange Marmalade, which is kind of a black and orange, or Absinthe, which is kind of a green and a white. Um, but I personally like Demonic Pact. It's a purple at the top with kind of a grayish white at the bottom. So that's Demonic Pact. You can save themes here, import, export themes, reset it to whatever it originally was. So just play with it and have some fun with it. It's, you know, your UI, you can customize it however you, f whatever you feel comfortable looking at. So once you're done, you just hit close and that box goes away. But also, while we're talking, and while I have it on my brain, I also want to share another add-on with you, and it's one of my favorite add-ons. It's called uh, WIM, which is, stands for Warcraft Instant Messenger. Now, have you ever been sitting there, like, AFK, you went to go get make some food, and then you come back, and your friend whispers you and says, you know, hey, did you get my towel? And then you scroll up in your chat box, you know, looking for the tell and you can't find it. Well, WIM takes that problem completely away. With WIM, um, you have a little mini map icon, which is right here. It looks like a little chat box. And if you have whispers, this is going to flash. Currently, I don't have any whispers, but if I go to my friends or my guildmates and I want to whisper them, I just click on the whisper and a little chat box comes up. Now that chat box, you can set it so it has a history of your conversation, so you can see what you said to other people before. And when you go to type to them and you say something like, Hi! Um, all of their messages will appear in that little box. You can click this little um, button in the corner that sends your box back up into the little whisper window um, on your mini-map so that it gets out of your way. The whispers also disappear when you get into combat. So that's really cool because then you don't have to worry about things covering your screen in combat. You can also open multiple whisper windows. Um, let's open one here with a writer. And you can... Um, click to view your message history with everybody. Um, you can also directly from these boxes invite to your party. You can see their location. You can add them as friends. Or you can ignore them if they're really pissing you off. Um, you can scroll up and down in the conversation and things like that. You can also just shift click like that. It closes it entirely and it won't even be up in your little box. Or you can click on the X in your little whispers box and it goes away. So that's whim and I really, really, really really recommend it because you will never miss a whisper again. As long as you remain logged in the game, you'll still get a whisper. Um, and you'll have the history of the whispers so that you'll never miss it. You'll never be in the middle of combat and miss it because it'll come back down when you come out of combat. So I hope you enjoyed all of the little tips that I had for you today. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you tell all your friends about it. And we'll have some more videos for you coming up. We'll talk about more things about um, my UI in particular, um, talk a little bit about Bartender, which we still need to talk about, um, how to config um, your recount or your omen so that it doesn't just look like a bunch of gray boxes, and different things like that. So that's about all for today. I'll talk to you guys later.